that will do it. You gotta do it. Your attitude is, if you don't get at it, when you get to it, you won't get to it to get at it again. You won't get to it to get at it again. A guy from Old New Brunswick, he couldn't even pay his rent. We don't know how he traveled, but we all know where he went. He was doing that, but now to do it, you gotta do it. Your attitude is, if you don't get at it, when you get to it, you won't get to it to get at it again. Won't get to it, dig it at it again. A girl from Old Star Island, old but ain't old lips. She married a new little lender and they lived on fishing chips. But they're too attached, not to do it. You gotta do your attitude in. If you don't get at it, when you get to it, you won't get to it, dig it at it again. Won't get to it, dig it at it again. A guy from Nova Scotia, he can't afford the train. He's sitting on a streetcar, and he's bound just the same. But he's doing that, now to do it, you gotta do your attitude in. If you don't get at it, when you get to it, you won't get to it, dig it out again. Won't get to it, dig it out again. A Frenchman from the gas bay, said frogs don't like smog. So he hopped in a swamp of lilies, where he lives in a hollow along. But he's doing that, now to do it, you gotta do your attitude in. If you don't get at it, when you get to it, you won't get to it, dig it at it again. Won't get to it, dig it at it again. Oh, one more. A guy from old King Fred, so long to me got stolen. He crawled into a suitcase and somebody bailed him home. But he's doing that, and I didn't do it, you gotta do it, your attitude in. If you don't get at it, when you get to it, you won't get to it, dig at it again. Won't get to it, dig it at it again. When you get to it, you won't get to it, dig it out again. Won't get to it, dig it out again.
here to warm up the instruments we're mostly. Warm up. We're here to make everybody else look better. <laughs> <laughs> we have a real special treat here. Now, this next man we have coming up, we've got a little setup for, but he, uh, you've seen him around. He's a very talented musician. He is around. You may notice the hat before you'll notice him. Anyways, we've got Dennis Boudreau, the Walmart Greeter. Formerly. You're as formerly known as the Walmart Greeter. Friday night for seniors. And every Friday night, this little old lady, I, I, we had a fiddler in the evening. 
Andrew. Every Friday night, this uh, little old lady, she was about four foot three, would come up to uh, the fiddle player and say, would you please play the waltz of the angels? And uh, after a while, I said, yeah, no, that's a good title for a song. So I wrote this song. It's called Please Play the Waltz of the Angels. I hope you like it. I used to have it, I, I had it on a CD, brought it into CFCY about 15 years ago and they haven't played it yet. <laughs> she sits in the corner, a tear in her eye, recalls all the good times they share. She remembers his laughter, his radiant smile. Track me 
You say you should tune these things. Once a month should be good enough. Well, it's great to be here. We're on a, do we have like a set list or some idea what we're, what we're playing? We got together last night for an hour for the first time. And, uh, so set your expectations low, and that way you're not disappointed on the, on the back end of things. Uh, I was looking at the set list earlier and I thought, people don't think we're crazy. How, how did you pick those songs? I'll say. Well, we're going to do a little bit of everything, I think, tonight. Uh, we're going to do some island stuff, and uh, whenever I get organized here, we'll, uh, we'll try something for you. Uh, I contemplated not doing this one because the guy that wrote it lives just kind of up, up this way. There's always a risk of someone knowing him, so if you know Lenny Glenn, don't tell him I did this. <laughs> uh, yeah, he lives up the road, and uh, Allison, do you know him? Not him, yes. <laughs> oh no. Well, don't tell him we did this. But uh, this is a song that Lenny wrote. Uh, it's kind of a fishing song. We're going to do a few fishing songs tonight for you. And uh, uh, this is a, kind of one of his more popular ones. Uh, and it's called Peter's Dream. Uh, if you know it, uh, sing along with us.
to be breathing like the stillness in the wind before the hurricane begins the hour that the ship comes in and the sea will split and the ships will hit and the sands on the shore that will be shaken and the tide will sound and the wind will pound and the morning will be Eagles, they will be smiling, and the rocks on the sand will proudly stand the hour that the ship comes in. And the words that I use for to get the ship confused will not be understood as they're spoken. For well, the chains of the sea will have busted in the night and be buried on the bottom of the Hear me, friends, and lost them through the years. 
black as a raven's feather, thunder clap like a slap of leather, and the wind whips through the black spruce on the shore. And the waves are pounding on the beaches, hotter as the last of the fishermen reach safe harbor, and the wind turns cold, cuts to the core. And out of the wild north of Berlin Strait, a ball of fire skips over the waves, and those who watch it can't believe their eyes. There's a burst of flame and a flash of light And there in the tide is a frightening sight As the tall ship on the flame lights up the sky Tales of the phantom ship From drop to keel in flames She sails the wild north of Berlin Strait No one knows her name Tales of the phantom ship It's a ship of fire they cry Hard against the wind she sails No one can see why Master to scrim there five hundred tons, maybe be bigger with fire and every rope and spar and sail. Now the beast, though the wind blows west, she plows a straight on an unknown quest, riding on the wave with the threats of a wolf or a scale. Of why she appears now, none can know. Some say it's nothing but a moonlit blow, and those who sing swear they tell no lies. They tell our vows only drops down. Ground at sea deported long ago from St. John's Island. He says they sail this choppy strait through time and tide. They navigate, searching for their means to end their long exile. Tales of the phantom ship from truck to keel in flames. She sails the wild north of Berlin's strait. No one knows her name. Tales of the phantom ship. It's a ship of fire. From truck to keel in flames, she sails the wild north of Berlin's grave. When will she sail again?
give her a break there, Andrew. Yep. Okay. Give her a break. All right. We'll give her a break. I think the, the second half is going to look something like the first half, is it? Similar, yeah. Okay. Except you're going to dance. Yep. Okay. <laughs> How'd you guess?
pass on a job.
live a lot of our lives. In the summertime, it's the garden. The amusement parks and cabins. So everybody there is. Thank <laughs> you. 
Take a whiff on me, that ain't no rose. Roll 
and shout, Hallelujah! The day this world went berserk in the first self righteous church, in that sleeping little town of Mill Station. It was a fight for survival that broke out in revival. They were jumping pews and shout, Hallelujah! They were jumping pews and shout, Hallelujah! Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah.
Hello. Again. <coughs> Pardon me. Sound better that way. Oh, we are 
the wind in the willow plate a sweet melody but all of ours we made were never to be
Should I tell you a joke while you wait? Sure. Yeah. All right. My wife will tell you how many times she's heard this one. This is my favorite joke in the whole wide world. So, there's three fellas in Anaganish sitting in a bar drinking beer. There's an Englishman, an Irishman, and a Scotsman. Can you just sing here? There's, yeah, there you go. Along come three flies. One in each of their ears. So the Englishman asking the barkeep for a spoon. Simply whilst the intruding creature off the top of his ear continues to spin it. The Irishman goes, hey, there's a wee fly in here. So he picks her up, tips her back, speaks her down, orders another. Hey, the Scotsman sees it, he goes, hey, there's a bloody fly in me beer. So he reaches in with his two hands, grabs it by both wings and says, now ye spit it out every drop. <laughs> <laughs> now for the real entertainment. Yeah. 
good. Old and blind before I hock my old guitar. 
Oh 
here. We're going to completely change gears on here a little bit. This was a song that kind of got popular, uh, well, it must have been the 80s, wasn't it? Sure. <laughs> said sure so. This is a, uh, this is not traditionally how this song goes, but uh, we, uh, it kind of came out of us last night, so we thought we'd give it a try. It's got a kind of a little, little uh, bit of a reggae kind of a, sorry, I, now I know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, oh you didn't know what I was talking about. I had no idea. Yeah, I see. <laughs> you are exactly right. Okay. <laughs> and it is reggae all the way. All right, here we go. Okay, go a little something like this.
this is a uh, this is an old maritime song. This uh, this song actually uh, it, it saved a man's life one time. Uh, he was a fisherman and he was out in kind of a little 45 foot boat, and uh, he got caught up in some weather and the boat kind of went over and there was a uh, he managed to get to a lifeboat and uh, the seas were kind of kind of crashing into the boat on top of him and it, we were just kind of pounding him down and he was kind of losing hope and, and uh, he didn't think he was gonna, gonna make it into this situation alive and, uh, and the last, the last uh, kind of course of this song uh, says rise again, rise again, though your heart it be broken and life about to end no matter what you've lost be it a home, a love, a friend like the Mary Ellen Carter, rise again. And he just kept singing that song over and over and over. He would sing, rise again, and the wave would crash over. And eventually he uh, was rescued. And he claims that uh, it was this song that saved his life. And 